Hey, oh, I'm Eric from Games My Hyper, and today I'm going to talk to you about the interaction system that I made specifically for you. And let us check us out the system. So when you open the project, you will get uh, into this example room, and first it will state, okay, how to set this up for your own project. Um, this project is using an interaction trace and that interaction trace is uh, optional but it makes it more easy to interact with uh, smaller objects for instance if you have a really small object like an inventory item a, a rock for instance that's on the ground and you want to pick it up but if you use the visibility trace you will need to have a line trace specifically on that small rock and uh, it's more easy if you can have an interaction sphere around that rock and hit that sphere. And I don't want that sphere to be interacting with all kinds of other things. So I've set up an interaction trace specifically for these kind of situa situations. But please remember it's optional. Uh, uh, but it just makes the experience way better. Um, second, I've made all the uh, logic into the actor component uh, called interact and you can drag and drop that into uh, your character and it will have all the functionalities automatically set up. Um, to interact with an item I have uh, made sure it switches via interface and uh, I've set up two uh, different types of interaction types, uh, uh, grabbing and just a normal interact. And you can choose both of them and it will just automatically expose the functions and it will uh, make sure to, uh, to work perfectly. Okay. Now we are in the room of some interaction examples. And the first thing I want to uh, can focus on are these small white dots that you see and uh, if you look at them correctly let me see if i can do this for you here these small uh, white dots and um, these small white dots are uh, uh, to show uh, interactables in a radius so i'm doing a sway trace around uh, your character that's all done in the interact component and it will check uh, uh, does uh, do I hit something with the interaction trace to block? And if that's true, does it implement an interface called uh, can interact? And if that's true, then uh, show a dot. So, oh, sorry. Uh, that will make sure to uh, to see interactions uh, while you're walking. And uh, uh, the use case for that is. Uh, again if you are in a for instance in a dense forest and you have some high foliage uh, and the items are in the grass so you want the player to show that there is actually interactable in the radius uh, so they don't have to look uh, too specifically uh, then you can enable this and of course this is all just set via boolean if you don't want to use this click on the boolean false and bam uh, it doesn't show. Uh, you want to have a bigger radius, uh, it's one variable uh, and it's a big radius, etc. So, and the second thing you will see is if uh, if you look at a specific interactable, it will show uh, a button and an interact, uh, interact text and that interaction text is a, a context sensitive. So, on this one I just showed push button but here I showed click button and um, uh, the interaction component and uh, the interactable item doesn't have any dependencies on each other because it's done fine interface so it just shows okay am I finding interactable am I looking towards that specific interactable if that's true um, what kind of text should I display and that's set up in the interactable itself so in this case it says push button and we can push the button and you can also see it has an animation and it also has a click sound yes perfect and um, also the animation and the sound are set up by the interactable itself and not on the interact component so that means that you can 
uh, change any sound and animation on any interactable that you're interacting with so it's not dependent on only one uh, type of uh, a predefined set so in this case this is push a button it will uh, turn on a light fine interface let's just say okay on inter uh, on interact uh, use this uh, uh, this actor and activate it so in this case push a button uh, to toggle the fire but uh, i can also uh, toggle the fire itself off and when i press this button again so you see it's really toggling it's not uh, uh, when it's down that one is off uh, it is uh, set to toggle but it's also a predefined variable you can also make sure if the trigger is down fix uh, and uh, off uh, etc here there are three uh, led lights that are going on by this button uh, we also have clickable button so if i press this one it will automatically turn up again like this and uh, it will uh, toggle the interact uh, every time i press one like this um, i can imagine you also the one to uh, uh, set up some multiple interactions while not uh, having to press a button so in this case i've set up trigger boxes and this one is push a button so well in the trigger box the button goes down and it will trigger like this oh, this one is cool uh, it, it switches uh, some colors um, and this one is click a button so standing on it uh, triggering it will click the button instead of keeping it pushed down like this and as you see the i key the character works perfect on that um, i've also set up uh, uh, a chain and then this one is pulling the chain on the bottom so if i press it it will automatically go down and go up and it will trigger the interaction event and this one is a hold button so if i hold the e i can move the mouse down and release it and it will trigger like that So that just gives a bit of a more immersive feeling uh, i also have that for a switch uh, so i can hold e and i can switch it uh, by uh, moving the mouse uh, up and down you can also do that with a gamepad by the way and of course if you don't want to have that grab interaction just press e and it will just flip a switch and in this case uh, uh, one light uh, goes off and one light goes on um, I also have a uh, ring uh, which I can turn um, if I press once it will uh, 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 just go like that or I can move the crank manually and you can set up these interactions on any type and for instance here uh, i i'm retrieving a boolean uh, if the door is open uh, 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 show closed door and if the door is uh, closed show open door so that is dynamically set up so that's about it and um, there's a lot of logic behind the actual um, interactable masses um, uh, uh, like uh, like toggling and uh, these kind of things um, it's very easy to set up i think this system is perfect for any game where you need some type of interactions think of an inventory system a building system farmable uh, uh, any quest and dialogue system so this is perfect for any open world survival RPG kind of thing where you need to set up a lot of different interactables and want to have dynamic inputs. Um, it's very easy to set up, uh, so I wonder what kind of interactables you will make with the system. Uh, please let me know uh, if you need uh, uh, 
support feel free to reach out um, uh, join the discord for, uh, for instance or reach out by mail and uh, we will talk um, i hope you all have a very nice day and thank you for watching bye